Hey guys, so starting off with this really cute cutting board I found at TJ Maxx for only $12.99. Seriously, TJ Maxx and Ross has the best stuff and I have a huge collection already. Um, and I loved that it came with this little serving knife. It's so pretty. I just, I couldn't resist getting this one. So uh, just using my like little leveling feet from DIY Epoxy. These are nice because they adjust. You can kind of spin the black part so that you can get your projects to be completely level. So just mixing up my epoxy, I'm using the DIY Artisan Epoxy, and I'm mixing up eight ounces. These little cups, I'll link them below, they're from Amazon, so if you wanna mix up eight ounces or less, these are really nice mixing cups, and they're really cheap, you just throw them away. So just mixing that up. Then I just separated some into different smaller mixing cups to do different colors. So to one of them, I added the opal mica powder from DIY Epoxy. Then mixing in some white uh, pigment paste. Then I added white to this one too because I wanted more white in a separate one. Then this is just a really pretty like kind of aqua color. And this is more of a like turquoise color or teal I guess. And then this pretty blue mica and these colors might be hints for a new color line coming soon. Then just added a little bit of opal to the lighter blue and then a technique I've been doing recently is where I'll take different colors and I kind of just pour in, um, the, I kind of layer and pour in different colors and I mix it slightly. And then when you pour it on, it just gives it this really pretty look. Like it's it's basically a dirty pour, but I just kind of have been playing with it and I don't kind of layer the colors. I just more pour some on top and then pour it out. You'll see it kind of just gives it a little bit of dimension within that color. So adding some pearl to the white, adding some of the blue mica to the blue pigment paste. And adding some pearl to the lighter blue. And finally some white to the lighter blue. So then I started with clear, just laying some down in just random spots. Every time I pour, I feel like I don't really know where I'm going with it. It just kind of, I just pour as I go. So there's not really a technique there. But you can see in that pour right there, just the different kind of almost like lacing, like where it's just like, you can see the different colors within that. And I just really love how it looks. And I don't know, I just have been experimenting with that lately.
just used my finger to pick some up off that had dripped off and just ran it along the sides so that there was no spot without any along the sides. just torched it to pop all the little bubbles. Then I used a heat gun. I wanted to move around the color just a little bit and make it not so like perfect, like wavy lines. I wanted to just kind of mess up those lines a little bit. I did spray it with alcohol and torched it one more time. Then the next day it was done. I love how it's just so smooth and pretty. Then these little um, adjusting leveling feet, if you get epoxy on them, they just pull right out. So they're really nice. Mm -hmm. 